Hi everyone, I'm JD Powell and today I'll be making an Armada Airplane review. This time I'll be reviewing this General Jet Spirit Airlines or AV20 Neo in the 1400 scale. So guys, I just received this model today along with two other models from December releases. I did make reviews on the other two, so feel free to go check them out when you have available time. And yeah, so yeah, first impression models is great. I really like this model. Um, this is a very well needed for the model because right now Spear is mostly flying AV20 Neos. That's the aircraft they fly the most of currently. Um yeah, I do really, really need this for my airport. I'm glad I have this. Um, there's a couple flaws with it. I'll get to that when I get to that. And yeah, so if you're new on my channel, this is how to do reviews. Um, I go over the model in the box and model. Then at the end of the day, I'll be scoring the model based on four categories. So let's start off to review the box. So here's the box model. This is your average Gemini Jacks box. Nothing too special with it. So on the top level, we got Gemini Jacks logo. Top right, we got made for collectors by collectors. Here we got computer driven image on the model. Here we've got the Spirit Airlines logo on the bottom right. Here we've got the Airbus AV20 Neo logo on the bottom right as well. Here's the side of the box. Here's the back of the box. This was a December 2020 release. Here we got computer image, image of the aircraft taken off. Here we got as real as it gets, highly collectible, sphere quality, realistic metal lane gear, do the point graphics, as real as it gets features. Here's Joe and social medias. And now zooming into the model. All right, so here, all right, so here is the model. So here are the nose of the aircraft. Um, the nose is a little pointy on the small, not nothing too bad, but it's a little pointy. Here we got the L1 door. Here we got the Spirit Airlines titles. Um, this is not the new livery. This is like the banana bus livery. So it tells all the howdy titles and all that. So yeah, here we got the emergency escape doors, emergency escape pass. Here we got the here we got antenna. We got a beacon light right there. Here, all right. Here's the number one problem with the model, in my opinion. Is this is oversized engine? I'm just gonna call this a G90 engine. That's literally what it is. This is ginormous. Uh, they did. It seems like they um trimmed the size down a little bit from the Frontier V20 Neo. It's still huge, but it's not as bad as the Frontier one. So yeah, here is the here's the winglet with Howdy with Spirit.com on the camera with Howdy. Um, and, here we got, here we got two antennas. And here's the tail of the model. We got Spirit on the tail. L, L2 door. Here we the registration. This registered November 902 November Kilo. This registered United States. And here is uh, vertical stabilizers and horizontal stabilizers of the model. And here's the AP of the model. Here we got stand hold. We got some wing landing gear. The Jim Bates logo. Here we got the nose landing gear. Here's the other side of the model. Here's the other side of the model. Same deal as the side I already reviewed, but this time it's a bag show. There's one right there. There's one right there. I'm going to give you some final shots of the model, then we can clean this review. Alright, so you guys, that, yeah, guys, that does conclude a small airplane review. So now I'll be I'm scoring the model. So. Yeah. All right. So that does conclude the review, like I said. So, so here's I'm gonna be scoring the model. I base I score out four categories. I scored out the mold, details, color, and the quality control. The start out the first scoring is the mold. So this is where this mold struggle. I mean, this model struggles is the mold. There's a couple of issues with the mold. First off, ridiculous neo engines. Also, another thing you might not notice because you can't really tell in the camera. The mold, like the fuselage of the model, is very chunky. So as you can see. It's very chunky on this model. That's not how it is in real life, so it's kind of unfortunate. Um, yeah, so just for those two reasons, um, the mold on the Spirit AV20 Neo will be getting a 7 out of 10. So this is C minus. It's not, it's kind of bad, but it's not as bad as it used to be. So that's good. All right, next thing. Next thing is the detail model. For the detail model, I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. There's really nothing wrong with detail. They could add a little bit more detail, but that's pretty good. And next thing is the uh, color of the model. So, yeah, I believe they did a really good job on the color. Um, yeah, um, they, it could be a little lighter, but other than that, the color is really good on this model. So for the color, it would be a 9 out of 10. And the final thing is quality control. So, yeah, this is another thing issue with the H1 Neo molds. A lot of them come broken. Um, mine didn't come broken. Mine actually came really perfect, in perfect condition. There's 
Can't really tell, but this nose gear is like tilted a little bit. Can't really tell. So, yeah. Other than that, the mold is really good on. I mean, mold. The quality control is this okay? So, for the quality control, they'll be they'll be receiving a eight out of ten. So, yeah. So that is it for the my airplane review, guys. So, yeah. I like the thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. I highly appreciate it. So, yeah. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Can we get to 150 subscribers by the end of this month? You guys will say, yeah, I like to thank you guys for watching, and bye.